Hello, my castaways, and welcome back to Star Sand. So, uh, in between recording the last video and recording this video, I actually got a new microphone, so uh, probably a lot better audio on this one. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and preface the video title since uh, a lot of you probably came here because you, it says you've never seen this before in Star Sand, and chances are you probably haven't, but in the dozens of demo videos I checked out after doing the playthrough you're about to see, um, I only found one video that actually uh, found what I found, and it only had like 24 views. So chances are you probably still haven't seen this. I'll put a link in the description of my video to his channel, but his name was Mestizo the Gamer, and uh, only other person that found that. So bravo to you, sir. I just don't feel right putting this video up without at least giving a shout out to that guy. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so, we're back. Um, I have set up what I would call a trap over at the Oasis. So we're gonna try and get one or both of these sandworms to uh, chase after me and come back to the Oasis with me. All right, he's coming. So we're gonna keep on jumping, try and make this sprint energy last until the Oasis. Axe off the screen. And he's right behind us. Is he coming? There he is, yeah. He's coming. Alright, I need to set something up. I hope I can do this quickly. Unless he stopped chasing me. No, he's definitely still chasing me. Yeah, there he is. Oh, almost ran it. Ran through it. No, close the gate. Oh god. Go up. Yes. It worked. <laughs> We've now Oh Jesus, what the hell? He's buried burrowed, ugh, burrowed under the sand. Okay, so I guess that doesn't work. But it seems like he's gone. Interesting stuff. Oh Jesus, he's back. Oh, he came out of the sand. What a oh. oh god, I think I'm dead. Oh, oh. Okay, well, now we know. You can trap the sandworms, but I don't know if they stay in the sand, like if they hide. Um I don't know if we're supposed to see that mechanic, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, Alright, I'll see you guys in a couple other seconds to uh, check out some other stuff. Okay, so I was out here at this uh, ruin setting up the, uh, the trap, and I see these hyenas out here. So I'm thinking I have a death wish. No, um, I think that we can get the hyenas and the sandworms all together in the same pen. Maybe. I don't know, this guy doesn't... Oh, shit, yeah, there, he's good. All right, come on. Come on, sandworms. Everybody, come on. Let's go. You too, buddy. Everybody. Everybody. Let's go. This might be really bad. We're gonna find out. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, the other ones just were like, nah, screw it. Damn it, I can't climb with the bug right here. I'm standing on top of him. <laughs> All right. We got him. Whew. But he burrowed back underground again. <sighs> okay. 
Now, I'm gonna see if he stays there while I go get more materials to make a second trap for the second side. So, I'll be back. Oh shit, that one's there. Crap, we gotta go. Oh man. I think if I get to the water, that he won't be able to do anything. Uh, it seemed like the other animals were hesitant to go in the water, so. Let's get back to the oasis, I guess. I don't think I can get hit, like, even once. Was that a new one, or was that the one that I trapped? I'm positive he's still behind me. Oh, yeah. Alright, I guess this is the moment of truth. Will he come in the water? I don't see him. Alright, I should have enough health now that I'm buffered from a bite if I do get bit. Oh, you're right there. Hey. You don't like the water? Hi. Ooh, you got pulsing. Oh, shit. Wait, is he under the water? Just looks like he's in the sand, maybe? Alright, well, we're going to make a mad dash back to our fire because we're freezing to death. Save me, Camel. Sorry, I'm gonna blow up that mic. <sighs> Hope I'm going the right way here. Shit, well, he's coming. I wonder if he got out of this wonky thing, or if I'm about to kill myself by releasing the second one. Moment of truth. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, yeah, that was in there. Okay, well, okay, I think that's all the sandworm trapping we're going to do. So, uh, see you guys back in a second. Okay, so we're back, back in this hut. So, uh, first off, I need to apologize for last time. I didn't realize that I had set the graphic setting on uh, high instead of very high, and I took off the water reflections. So you guys weren't actually able to see the beautiful water in that oasis, but you will be seeing some more water today and not in that oasis. I found some other places that we can go check out, and uh, I just wanna show you where they are, pretty much. So, and what they look like, because they look pretty awesome. So we're leaving our structure and kind of going left here. I um, wish we had some sort of compass or directional, but yeah, it's not too difficult to find your way around. Basically just uh, head up to like the next, the highest hill in the direction you want to go and then use that as a viewpoint to look around. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple from there. Always remember to jump to conserve your run energy. <laughs> now we gotta cancel that uh, tutorial, we don't need that. We're intrepid explorers of the desert now. All right, so there's the ruin from uh, where the sandworms are. So we're just gonna keep on heading up this ridge of sand so that we can see, well, hopefully see most of the things around us. I'm pretty sure there's something either on the other side of this hill or the one after it. Oh, there's something. Maybe that's the something I'm thinking of, but we're still going to go up here first, just to get a good vantage point. Okay, 
Okay, so the oasis is back down there. There's our starting building, and there's the temple with the snakes, uh, worms, whatever. So there's something over here. Let's go check that out. I uh, overshot it a little bit. I <laughs> should have just gone straight left out of there. All right, I will speed this stuff up so that you guys get there much faster than I do. All right, and here we are. So my run energy basically lasted the entire way there, which is awesome. Um, you can't jump whenever you're on like the last like 5% of your uh, energy bar. Um, I was confused about that on the last episode, but yeah, can't can't jump now. So. All right, so we have an ancient structure here. When we examine it, we unlock furnace and sword recipes. I'm gonna go stand in the shade so I start cooling off because uh, we still got a little bit of a trek until we get to any water. So let's pop this over. But the, uh, let's see, placeables, yeah. So you can't actually make the furnace in the uh, demo, and I'm guessing you need the furnace to even look at what you need to make a sword. So, yeah. Can't do anything with that, just uh, something you can find. And from the looks of it, there's not very much else around here. It's just uh, an old ruin. So we're gonna go on up to ooh, we're gonna go on up to the top of that hill once we cool off just a little bit, and, uh, and we're gonna go off to another oasis. And once again, I will speed it up so you guys don't have to wait. Whoa. Okay. So I stopped because I just accidentally hit right click as I was jumping. I don't know if I'm actually going faster when I do it, but look at my hand. Like, some weird stuff going on there. I can't, I can't tell if it actually makes us go faster if it's just doing something with the water bottle. Oh, you shake that bottle, buddy. I gotta keep on doing it just to see if we actually get there faster. It's still really hard to tell. All right, so got a really flat oasis here, but check out how this water looks. Ooh, man, isn't that nice? Let's drink up too, because we're hot as hell. Um, this one pretty much just has uh, bananas. There's a whole lot of bananas. I was totally right when I was talking about it being a new currency. Alright, well, while I'm trying to cool off, I'm going to see if I can spot any rocks around and make a knife so I can get some stems going, because, uh... Oh, okay, I thought that was the height. Here's one. Yeah, I want to make a hat at least, which shouldn't be too hard, even with a knife. I mean, that's like, what, two yucca? No problem. could make a marker too so you guys can see on the map where this is but if you guys uh if i end up not doing that i'm not sure if i'm going to yet if you guys don't go check out uh the other guy who uh, found these oasis is like i did he made a really comprehensive map that has everything on there and outlines the uh crazy wall of sand that rings the uh demo map that you can't cross so uh which i will show you too uh but a little bit later all right let's get this hat going all right, I really don't think we're gonna cool off that much more. Um, is there a melon around here? I can make some sunscreen with that, but I don't think there is. All right, well, we got a long, long trek uh, to the next one. 
So I'm going to get running. I have a theory about, I think that's a camel off there in the distance. I, uh, the way I found this was I had a theory about the camels uh, coming from, you know, somewhere. I mean, uh, I, you know, video game logic, you just say they spawn in. But I thought there was something a little bit, you know, suspicious to that. So I followed one of the camels, and sure enough, he was coming from the direction of one of the ruins. So, uh, pretty cool. I don't know if uh, <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be, or if I'm just putting, uh, you know, assuming things where it's not actually the case. But uh, if that was intentional, that's a pretty cool uh, mechanic, Dubs. Okay, so uh, I guess you do get hurt from fall damage. That's the first time that's happened to me, or at least that I've noticed. Um, where I you know, jumped off that sand dune, it was just the right angle where I fell too far. Um, so, that's cool. Um, we're getting here at night, so I will fast forward this again to show you guys this in the daylight. And then what we will probably do is back out and restart, because the other oases, uh, oases are on like the other side of well okay so the ruin is like kind of over here ish i think and the main oasis is like back here and the other oasis that i found is on the complete other side of that and there's gonna be a sandstorm that hits tomorrow so uh yeah can't do much with that so I'll show you this once uh, it gets light outside but yeah see you guys then Okay, so we're back. It's kind of getting close to daylight outside. Um, one of those hyenas, I guess, that was sneaking around in the bush, uh, found me in the night. Wasn't bothered at all by that fire. Oh, maybe that's him out there. But uh, I had to climb up on top of this rock to get away from him. Uh, luckily, I've healed all the way. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but the little moon is like a clock around the big moon. But it kind of like ticks. You might be able to see it kind of tick here. I think, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Man, that's cool. I love the way that the sun just like, I don't, know, I don't even know, slides across the desert like this. Anyways, this is the perfect time to check out this oasis. Okay, so a little anticlimactic, but still uh, very different from our, our home one. Uh, this, I really thought this was like some sort of cave at first, but it's just like kind of oddly placed rocks, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> so we have, uh, hemp here. Um, I, I went ahead and checked. I made cloth with it with a loom, and, uh, you can't do anything with it. It just turns into this stuff right there. It looks exactly, oh, shoot, shoot, oh crap, oh. Okay, it was a scorpion. That's fine. As long as it wasn't a hyena, that's all I care about. Um, 
We, uh, oh, here's the hemp. So, yeah, that lovely ball of scraggly, I don't know, weave. Uh, and then we also got a banana seed from eating a banana, which is cool. I haven't ha gotten one of those before. So, uh, yeah, can't can't make the farming plots to plant them, but we will be able to plant stuff in the uh, later game, it seems. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I need to find, well, I guess I need to kill, oh yeah, check these out. It's a freaking mango tree. So there's more fruits than just like bananas and coconuts and pineapples, which is cool. Um, I wonder if the uh, mangoes hydrate you when you eat them like the pineapples do. They do not. Okay. All right, let's get a... Uh... So I'm looking for a melon to make an antidote, but I don't think I'm going to find one. I also don't think it matters. Um, like I said, I'm just going to restart uh, and show you guys the other ruins and the other uh, oasis. And uh, Oh yeah, here's the water. forgot. I should probably show you that. Let's check this out. Woo! Boom. Yeah. Deep pool. Um, might have almost gone through the uh, floor of the world there. But uh, hey, check out this guy's like swimming ups. This is ridiculous. Woo! The damn dolphin. Alright, on that note, I'm gonna swim on up into another save. Okay, so, I just chased these hyenas up from down there because I promised you guys some dead hyenas, so we're gonna try and do that with just the spears. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Whoa, that flew. Alright, we're gonna get a little closer. Maybe on some level, more level ground first. <clears throat> Alright, I don't want them to get all nosy. Got one. Oh my god, that spear. Oh my god, these spears though. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Uh, right in the head. That's what I wanted to see. I wonder if he was coming at me slower because I hit him in the leg or something. Yeah. Cool mechanic. Oh my goodness. Jesus. What are you doing, my guy? There we go. Oh, yeah, didn't even touch me, bro. Okay, so that's uh, the debut of the Spears. Uh, yeah, really hope we'll fix that. Okay, I'll see you guys after we. Ch uh, I'll see you guys when we go check out some more oases. Whoa. Okay, that was a bit laggy at first. So we're back again. This time we're gonna go right out of our uh, our house. And we're gonna, I think it's this hill or this hill. It doesn't really matter. I think uh, either way we're going to be able to see it. Uh, so we're heading for another ruins. I don't think there's any other ones than these uh, two that I found. Unless maybe there's one like back there or something. Um, hmm. No, I think that's like the end of the world. But here's where we're going. Is there something back there? No, I think that's the one that we went to. It's like over here-ish. Anyways, well, I mean, I can't see it, but I, I think that's where that one was. All right, so here we are. Um, I know from experience there's no sandworms in this one, so we're safe. Uh, it looks to be like another kind of temple complex, but there is nothing in it. No pillar for an artifact. Still some skulls. Lots of people died here. Um, but there is another artifact, and it gives the same thing, a furnace and a sword. So, oh, maybe that's not a skull, it's just a pot. Mm, okay. 
I have a theory. And I think it kind of makes sense as, after you look at everything. Uh, as, as I've been going back through and editing the uh, video from the first one, I noticed a few things. And so like whenever you walk into the, uh, the hut in the very beginning of the game, uh, it's, it's not the same hut you wake up in. Or at least if it is the same hut, it's, it's like one from a way later time. Um, and then there's the two moons and the, the alien worm things, of course. That's, you know, an obvious one. And the other thing that I, I had a thought about was that the guys we see in that uh, like artifact uh, cutscene, they look human. But they may not necessarily be human. Now, they could just be humans, like, sucked into this world from, uh, uh, wherever, you know, from our world, like, uh, presumably what happened to me. I'm making a lot of assumptions here. I have no idea if this is, like, the storyline or not. But, um, they, you know, they could be aliens, too. I don't even think we're on Earth, man. I think, you know. <laughs> then there's the big giveaway, Star Sand. I mean, mm, suspicious. It's all suspicious. So anyways, enough of my rambling. I will get to this uh, oasis here. Uh, it is kind of like the complimentary one to uh, the one we were just at. Uh, yeah, almost uh, the same offset of you know, from the ruins as the other one. Uh, but it's a long trek from that ruin. So, yeah. See you in a minute. And here we are at what I think is the coolest oasis. Sorry, uh, I just wanted to point out how, so you saw those camels that were out there, and I think one of those was a, a gazelle or a hyena, which <laughs> didn't think those guys would be traveling in packs. But um, they were coming from this oasis, or at least they uh, spawned in so that they would appear to be coming from this oasis. Um, this one is my favorite. It looks so cool. And uh, with this like cool rock formation here, you can do some really, uh, really high jumps into the water. All right, enough of that jumping, jeez. Uh, and we don't have a hat going this time. Well, actually, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna show you guys the Oasis, because uh, that's this is like the last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me eat this melon. What? Poison? I, oh. Okay, I, uh, I didn't know that you got poisoned from melons. So, uh... Yeah. All right, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm not going to try and actually survive out here. Whoa. Got some got some distance on those jumps. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to climb that. Now, the last oasis I thought was interesting because uh, there was no like clear path out of the rocks. You, you just have to jump your way out. So uh, I wonder if they're going to like put like a... I mean... They're gonna put a crocodile in some of these. I saw it in their, uh, you know, release video, uh, as well as some other animals that we haven't seen in this one. But uh, yeah, that would be one hell of a trap. Oh yeah, I'll just jump into this water and then I can't get out. And there's a crocodile. So uh, yeah, let's get some speed going. Let's uh, hop on in this piece. Woo! Oh oh wow. <coughs> Okay, take two. Okay, this time we're not we're gonna jump in a direction that's not gonna make us hit land. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Oh what the I still got fall damage from hitting the bottom of the water. I mean, it seems like it's deep enough that wouldn't happen, but it's funny. Okay, so um if you guys like this, please, uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Uh, that's all the gameplay I have for now. Uh, there is one little section at the end that I've added for the developers. It's just kind of like my notes on what I think could be possibly improved. Um, I, like, uh, I don't want to assume too much, of course. You guys have poured so much time into this, uh, clearly. And uh, I, I hope I'm not assuming too much, I guess is all I'm going to say. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like this, uh, please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, keep on surviving.
So the bow, um, I noticed that there's no ammo counter for it. Um, I guess you could argue you wouldn't have an ammo counter in real life, but uh, you also have a hot bar down there, which you don't have in real life. So uh, I think an ammo counter would be beneficial. Also, uh, when you right click to draw the bow and then fire an arrow, it doesn't auto load the next arrow, which I feel like it should. Uh, just my two cents. The spears. Uh, I don't know if you guys have some sort of like hunting leveling up uh, or leveling up in the game that you haven't released for the demo, uh, which would make it like throw the spear straighter or not, but those things are pretty wonky. Uh, it's really hard to hit anything, especially if you're, you know, trying to run from a hyena or something like that. Uh, I would also love it if you stop the uh, spears from skidding on the sand. Uh, I feel like that's just ridiculous. Uh, yeah. I think the game, or rather the demo, especially if this demo is going to be like the opening of the game, which is kind of like your tutorial, um, could really benefit from some tool tips about how to cool off and how to warm up and what cools you off, what warms you up. You know, something on fires and water and sun bomb or something like that. I'm a little confused as to why sandstorms hurt you. Um, I don't know if it's from the sand scraping you, which I would assume, or you not being able to breathe. But uh, a little tool tip in the demo might be helpful for that as well. So do the mosquito swarms do anything? Or are they actually just an annoyance? Because it seems like they don't actually do anything. So the trees, it seems like they fall in a set direction for each individual tree, and a lot of times that's like right into the middle of some brush. So I would love it if you guys change the direction the trees fall so they don't fall in brush or give us some sort of like dragging ability that makes us move really slow but allows us to move those trunks. Uh, that would be handy, but I can also understand how you may not want to put that in there. So there are a couple of occasions where I've dropped things into the water and it's too far into the water that I can't pick it up through that layer that lets you drink, but I also can't get under the water to pick that item up too. That's all I've got. I just want to say though, I absolutely love this game. Uh, I'm not exaggerating at all. It is phenomenal. I'm super excited to see how it all turns out. I probably spent a good 10 to 15 hours just researching stuff for this after I got the uh, initial playthrough done, and man, it has just been a great time the entire time. So uh, keep up the awesome work. You guys are doing great, and I hope you enjoyed the videos. Early access key. <coughs> Excuse me.